Hi guys, welcome to another session of journal with me where I will be planning from scratch. So first off, this was the previous page and you can see how the ink has sipped through and there's some marks. So how are we going to embellish it today to kind of hide it or actually minimize its appearance. Let's start with some pieces that we will be using today. Oh dear, the skull is picking out. Back in here. Alright. So I'm gonna be using some some of these embellishments. This, maybe this would suit better mm, because of the color scheme. Alright, so what I like to have is always like a variety of sizes and styles, but keeping in theme with that retro vintage look. So I think I have enough small pieces and now I'm going to go for now I'm gonna go for a bigger piece for my divider. So I have this huge, beautiful huge accordion folder that I bought from Scriptum Oxford where I keep my bigger pieces. It's like the bigger brother to this little moleskin. Yeah. But these are for smaller pieces, so I'm just gonna put it away. Let's have a look at what I can use today. So these may look vintage, but it's not. It's actually part of a big piece of Calvini, Calavini um, wrapping paper or poster. And if you're familiar with their stuff, they do a lot of remake of vintage pieces. And honestly, I prefer using stuff like that because when you have genuine vintage postcards and letters and you spend, you know, a fair amount of money on it, you wouldn't want it to be stuck on the page. But then again, don't hoard. <laughs> for me, I, I would rather keep those vintage pieces for when I really have something in mind. But today, I'm just going to use something that I've cut out from the poster. I think this looks nice because it's a lighter shape than the rest. So let's go with these. Okay. would look nice as well. Okay, let's take it out and see what happens. So now what we'll need is to plan. Plan how it's gonna go. See this would kind of hide this blotch of ink here. I don't know how that happened. Let's have a look at the crime scene. Yeah, it's probably just me being a klutz and dropping a blotch of water. I think these pieces would go well together. Like I said, you don't have to use everything that you take out, but it just helps with planning it. Sometimes, <laughs> less is more. So, just gonna eliminate a few things. You can make a pocket as well. Look how cute that is. Just glue the sides, it becomes a little pocket. So, yeah, maybe as a pocket, and most of it is already covered. That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. 
It's really it's tricky so when I'm shooting a video and I have no idea what I'm doing but I just want to show you the natural process of how I plan my pages and it's not necessarily like a 10 minute thing sometimes it's 5 minutes, sometimes it's at half an hour so it really depends I'm gonna need my glue tape I have some smaller pieces here that might work so I'm just going to take it out Put this back I kind of like the look of this if you can see it you know how there's like a blotch here it kind of looks nice to have it peeking out almost as if it was intentional so I think I'm going to go ahead with this but I would also like a little bit more texture in the background Okay, this is a YouTube uh, blooper or mishap is that for some reason my phone camera stopped recording and it missed out in all this part of putting it together. But it's super easy, so basically I just glued these three sides to create a pocket on this paper and then I glued the back paper on all four sides so that it, it's not movable and then I put in a little rope here on this tag that I pre-made and now it goes in here perfectly so now what I want to do is either create a divider here or flip up and I think I will not do either. I will have it flat and create other layers over it. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Have it here in the middle of the page. Voila. And I'm gonna have Maybe this tear is a bit too dramatic because there's a lot going on here so I don't think yeah, maybe up here instead but then it's too heavy on one side so maybe like this possibly maybe too thick I'm just gonna Get this out just like this. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is glue it down. Here. And I've used this before. It's basically a sticker maker by XYRON Siron. And all you have to do is put the piece, something like this. It's a bit odd shaped, so this is not going to work. And a Yuhu glue is not going to work. So I'm just going to put it in here, all the way in. And then I'm going to roll it out. And it's going to come out on the other side perfectly. So now this is a sticker. And all I have to do is remove this from the back, which is adhesive, and then stick it down. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, this is super handy. I don't use it all the time, I use it when I have odd shapes like this. So now I can create another 
layer here. I want to make it look like it's sealed down. So I'm going to take out... Actually, this is a nice contrast. And it kind of has that dark blue, light silverish blue and a little bit greenish blue here. So that, that might go well, actually. Let's do that. I'll probably have a little stamp here. Or maybe... Maybe Abraham Lincoln. Okay, the only way to really find out is I'm gonna cut it out and see how it sits. I think this is quite nice over here. We have a little bit more stamping here. Okay, let's do that. So before I stamp, I'm going to remove this because the back of this is not flat so when you stamp it's not going to be even don't make that mistake because it's painful all right so you see how i'm about to do this yeah okay okay again be careful when you accidentally ink the sides just gonna wipe it off with my shirt because that's why i wear black i'm actually covered in black ink <gasps> all right okay place it properly make sure it's perfect and then press down be really careful that when you lift your hand, you don't move the block. That happens all the time. So the best way to do it is have flat palms and fingers so it doesn't move. Okay. Done. There's a little bit of a space there. Anyway, no worries. We're going to cover it. So that works. So I'm not going to put it in yet. See what else? Maybe I'll do like a burn edge washi here. Might be too much. Mm, actually, I think it's okay. But usually it's like this. No, I think the other way would be better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is. Oh, the length. There we go. And now to think of it, if I put this here, it's going to be too heavy. Just now there was this tear out from the sticker. I'm going to see whether it works to put it here. I think it does, but I'm just going to tear it at an angle so it looks like it's coming out from the corner. There we go. Sometimes it's the subtle, subtle details. Now, of course, this style works for me, but you might not like it. Maybe it's too messy. But... Oh, no. I tore it. I, I glued it the wrong way. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so I'm just going to use this here. Which kind of works too. 
This is almost like a burnt edge to a tad peach. So, I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this after all because the whole point of having like a rub on sticker is to create more layers, right? Because it's sort of semi-transparent and you can layer it over things so you can see what's behind but there's nothing here so it's just gonna look like a washi or a sticker so i'm not going to waste that the problem is now that there's some ink residue here i, I can't really cover this whole thing as well otherwise i will really have no place to journal so i'm just going to write over it and it shouldn't be a problem so now I have a few Monte Verde and Conklin pens laid out for today's spread. And I think I'm going to use hmm, a Conklin Crescent. And yeah, two Conklin Crescents. One with a broad nib, one with a fine nib. I'm going to move this out. And now we're just going to make sure the inks are compatible with the spread. So this is this is empty. Great. I I always check if you have ink before you start writing. Yeah, seriously. So the challenge with this pen is that you really don't know when it's out of ink because there is no, what do you call that, um, you can't remove the top to see the converter. Is it called a converter? Yeah. So you can only gauge by weight and I'm so bad at gauging it. No worries, we have tons of other pens here. Okay, this works. This is one of my favorite ink. It's the Moonstone ink by Monteverde. Love it. So it's handy if you have a few pens and you don't know what ink is in it to just write it out first. This is brown. This is a different brown. Nice. So we have a good variety of brown and greenish inks. We don't want to have like a purple ink in one pen, which I won't, but just in case you have different inks to so start writing and you're like, oops, I don't really want this color in my spread. Oh, Pinterest. I'm gonna look for a quote. Don't need this anymore, put it away. Have more space to write. Great. <sighs> So sometimes when I'm browsing for quotes, I'll come across images like this which I think is really awesome as a printable. Um, and usually when I print, I use my phone memo, which is this device here. And I think it might look nice to have something like this maybe up here. If you're looking for things to print, I have a Pinterest board called Printables which is filled with all of this kind of images. Okay, so now we go to for memo. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. So this is on transparent sticker.
so you see how like inspiration can come even when you think you're done with a page you're not quite done with it because you see something that you say oh that's nice i want to include that so this is my sidetracked piece <laughs> And now I'm just going to write around it and down here. So put this back up here. And the hunt for quote continues. Don't forget to turn off your phone memo. Back to quotes. So I want to write about hmm, quotes about strength. Because I was talking to my mom in the morning and She's a really strong lady. She's going through some medical complications and um, she gets really emotional when she, she's in a hospital bed and she has time to think about things. So I want to dedicate this spread to her. It's quite messed up actually because of this piece of paper here kind of messed up the the strokes okay so one of the other reasons why i'm dedicating this post to my mother is because she's a cancer survivor and at one point she was working five jobs a day as a aerobics teacher, as a trainer, and as well as a day job, just to keep a roof over our heads, you know, like my grandma, my grandma's best friend, as well as my stepfather, who at that point was unemployed. So everything was on her shoulders to make sure my stepsister goes to school as well. And it was a very tough life, and I'm so glad that she's able to retire comfortably now but those things kind of stay with you and when i hear her stories i get very emotional but she's a really strong lady and i admire her a great deal so here goes second one <laughs> There's no rule that if you, you write in this direction, you have to finish in that direction. So you just find gaps to fill it out. And this is my own process. So you might not like that. You might want the sentence to end here. In that, in that case, you need to gauge. So if there isn't enough space, what you can do is write in smaller strokes to fit in the quote. If there's too much space, kind of like drag and broaden your lines a little bit, okay? So now I just need one more quote here. And maybe something here, something like a small quote written here that overlaps the page. spread and you know my style I don't like to leave too much space I think for some people this is too much going on but I don't like having this kind of bare so let me see what I'm gonna do I might use a rub on sticker after all Here. 
maybe like that it doesn't have to be completely straight sometimes having something overlap in a different angle kind of gives it a bit more like an organic feel okay so i'm sure you know how to use a wrap on sticker it's super super simple just place it on your image take a wooden ice cream popsicle stick or something and just rub it in so okay once you're satisfied lift it up slowly and you will get it voila so yes this is today's spread and i will link the pens down in the caption below but here we go Yes, here you go mommy. This spread is for you today. Thanks for watching and hope you can join me again for the next session. Ciao!